changing this to be that bond line structure or skeletal formula. Okay. And the first thing we want to do is just remove the hydrogens and the bonds of those hydrogens that are connected to the carbons. Okay. So let's just start doing that, just removing the hydrogens with those bonds. and we'll stop there. Okay. So we're not gonna touch that with our oxygen. If there was a nitrogen there, we wouldn't do that either. Mm. It's only the hydrogens connected to the carbons. Okay, that makes sense. The second step is then to place this in a zigzag form. Mm. So we're specifically looking at our carbon chain, the main mm. carbon chain, which in this case, there's only one. Mm -hmm. So what we would wanna do is just, kind of just start angling it. And I'll have you continue right. just with the carbons. Perfect. And I'm just going to move this over. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of the lone pairs. Mm -hmm. We know they're there. We're not going to focus on them. Then from there, we're going to remove the carbons and connect the lines. Okay. That makes sense. Like these guys are here? Yes. All the carbons and connect the lines. Okay. Exactly. Because every point we know is a carbon. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that I also will do is sometimes we'll see this actually just written out as OH. Oh, that's nice. So you don't always have to show the bond mm -hmm. between those two. That's really nice. So this would be it, and let's actually just clean this up a tiny bit. There we go, that's what it would look like. Every point is still a carbon. Okay, yeah. We don't see all the hydrogens anymore, mm -hmm. but this is what organic chemistry is going to look like. Okay.